If I don't accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, am I going to hell? Simple answer, yes. The Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. It's that simple. We can go a little further back in John 3 and uh, maybe even get a little more clarification here. He that believeth on him is not condemned. This is verse 18. But he that believeth on and believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God. So what makes somebody unsaved? Well, if you have not come to that place where you have trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, then you're still under wrath. You see, here's the deal. We're all born under wrath. As soon as you're old enough to know right from wrong, you're under wrath. Doesn't matter if someone put water on your forehead or not. You, the only thing that's going to save anybody is faith in Christ. You say, well, I have faith, but not in Christ. Well, that's not going to save you. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4 and verse 10, Be it known unto you all, to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, who, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Now here we go. Now this is the Bible talking, not me. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So if you're trusting in anything else other than Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross to save you, you're not going to be saved. You don't have a hope. Why? Because none of us can be good enough to get to heaven. You say, well, I believe in, in Muhammad. Okay, and, and that's good, and you have, the, you have the right to do that, but he's not going to save you. He didn't die for your sin. I believe uh, in the teachings of Buddha. Well, that's good, and you probably, uh, if you are a practicing Buddhist, you probably act better than some not-head Christians do. But that's not going to get you to heaven. You say, well, I follow um, the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi or other things. Well, that's good, and that's fine, and, 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 and I'm glad that you are following a path, but that's not going to save you. The only person that died on the cross for you is Jesus Christ, and the only hope that anybody has of being in heaven is through Jesus Christ alone. You say, well, how come you say your way is the only way? I didn't. I said Jesus is the only way. Jesus didn't say, I am a viable option. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Listen, if you're going to believe the Bible, and again, like I said in the beginning of the show, you don't have to believe the Bible in order to watch the show or to listen at all. But if you're going to believe the Bible, you have to be consistent. Jesus claimed to be the only way. There's salvation in none other. So I hope that that helps you.